Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Well today I'm checking out the Lucky 13 Uni Mag 22 Magnum slash 17 HMR 25 round magazine. Now this is the magazine here guys. It uh, fits the Ruger American and also the Ruger 77 22 Magnum and Ruger 77 17 HMR. So if you've got a 22 Magnum or a 17 HMR in either the Ruger 77 models or the Ruger Americans, this magazine should uh, fit and function perfectly. Obviously I haven't tested it yet guys because that's going to come in the later part of the review. Now being a 25 round magazine it is restricted in New South Wales, Victoria and ACT. So if you live in any of those uh, places you can get a 15 round version of this magazine. Now let me show you around the magazine. It's got a high vis anti-tilt follower. Now the actual feed lips um, you know, and the feed ramp on this everything is just built like a tank okay it's not plastic it is the actual uh, 6061 aluminium the entire body is made from a full billet of uh, 6061 aluminium so you know it is honestly it is built like a tank you've just got to pick one of these up to understand what I'm talking about so back to the uh, feed lips here and the feed ramp guys like um, you know look you're not going to have any problems with it cracking like you can get some really cheaper high capacity mags i've seen them for the um 1022 and uh you know ruger uh, americans in 22 and you know as time goes on they really discolor um, they wear down where obviously you're not going to have this problem when it's made out of 6061 aluminium now let me just take it down just show you how to do that you know obviously for cleaning so there's three um, takedown Allen screws here. You just need a two and a half mil Allen key and you'll be able to uh, take that down no problem. So just unscrew the three of these. Okay, so when we take it apart, just have the thin side facing up to you. Now, when you take it apart, there's two guide pins, okay? So just make sure they don't fall out, guys, because they just sit in there. There's nothing retaining them. There's the follower there, and pretty much it's like a, um, a elastic mechanism there that you push the ammunition down, and it just retracts up as the ammunition is being used. So obviously you can see you can clean it. You know, you can take it right down and just clean all the gunk out of there, which is just fantastic. So let's put it back together again now. Now the magazine is 100% Australian made guys, made right here in Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. So uh, that gives it a big tick of approval from me. Now just comparing the mags uh, guys, um, I've got a Volkortsen 25 round magazine here and honestly these things are <laughs> built like a tank as well. There must be just something about once you go up to the higher capacity uh, 22 Magnum magazines, they just seem to go up a level with their construction. Now as you can see here, the Volkortsen one is thicker. Now this is just for your information guys, just to sort of show you around the differences. So the um, Lucky 13 one is actually thinner and it is lighter. So the Lucky 13 comes in at 290 grams or 10.1 ounces and the Volkortsen comes in at 347 grams or 12.3 ounces. So a little bit more weight in the actual Volkortsen. But once again, being a uh, imported magazine, they are extremely hard to get here in Australia. And obviously, if they are for sale, you know, they're, they're obviously overinflated prices. So I put that aside now, back to the Lucky 13 mag. If you want one of these, um, they're available from Cleaver Firearms for $139.90, which to be honest, I think is quite good because the Volkortsen magazine is 99 US dollars each. So really, I think that's very um, comparable. So now guys, um, I've got different types of ammo. Let's get out on the farm now and just put this magazine through its paces and make sure we have no functioning issues whatsoever. Okay guys, so let me just run you through the ammo that we'll use in the magazine. So we'll start off with the 40 grain uh, Winchester power points, then going up to Federal Premium with the 30 grain uh, Spear TNT. And then we got the CCI Maxi Mag, which is a 30 grain jacketed hollow point. 
Then we've got the Hornady Critical Defense, which is a 45 grain pill. And then we've got, last of all, CCI VMAX, which is a 30 grain pill. So we're just gonna put five of each in the magazine, okay, to load up the 25. We're just gonna cycle it down range to see how it goes. Okay, a little bit of movement, but that is normal. So let's see how we go. All right, guys, so look, at the end of the day, the magazine works. We had a couple there that were a little bit sticky. However, uh, look, my Ruger 77 is a little bit clunky anyway. So, um, yeah, that may be the reason. But look, the more I started using it there, the uh, smoother it felt. So, um, look, no problem with the magazine there. So if you do want to get yourself a decent high cap mag, have a look at one. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the review. So till next time, we'll catch you then.